look at them on the floor. As you watch this documentary and this series, like my goal is just to inspire and show you that it's possible. If you can see me, another young black girl doing this, then hopefully you can see yourself too doing this as well. And we won't be the, you know, abnormal thing, we'll be the norm. of what she's doing now, always ahead of the curve. You know, that's 10 years ago, eight years ago, six years ago, when she's doing things that are laying a foundation and the groundwork for what she's trying to do now, right? So she she documented her trade and travel, going to Tibet and in Australia and all of these places, right? So um, it's just outstanding. I mean, uh, uh, her life is, is, is truly has a light on it and, and it shows. We are about to go to the studio and record a new series for YouTube called Make It Make Sense. And our goal was to take topics that are, you know, popular right now in like culture, but that make no sense and that nobody knows what they are and make them easy to understand. Um, something that people can decide if they want to have this in their toolkit as well. Yeah, a kind of a way to demystify some things, especially when it pertains to investing, because there's a lot that people don't know. And uh, it might seem kind of complicated, but we're gonna break it down. If you want to later, I mean, I, I say, okay, here, this is a ticker question, but we don't need to look up here and see here. anywhere from 18 to 24 months. Well, in that case, the SPAC can get liquidated. But guess what happens? Investors get most, if not all, of their money back. That's because SPAC deals at this Like, take your profit now, come back to it later. You know? Yes. So, but, yeah. And I do want to say, too, like, when Lynette says that she used to think about How long was that one? Uh, about 21 minutes.
Oh, okay. perfect. We tried to hit 20. Yeah, that was good. Okay, it. so we'll do a switcheroo switch and, and we'll do real estate next. And that's yeah, going to be like, we be fun. At the end of the day, you know, when you start a business and you create a movement, a lot of people are simply not privy to just the level of sacrifice that it takes and what you have to do to do it well. I got to see Terry after MIT and to see her as a CEO. See, I already saw her as a student the first year I worked with Terry, but to see her as a CEO is something I've never seen. Like, I haven't even seen this kind of hustle in movies. Every time I'm around her, she is literally about student success. Um, she could go to Puerto Rico, she could go to Germany. She's got the money to be, like, lazy, but yet she still grinds hard like the school just opened last week. She's literally worked nonstop, even on these vacations that we see her at. She still doesn't know how to vacay, so <laughs> she's always grinding. Grateful Lucky says hello from London. Hey London. We have a lot of students from the UK. Hey, hey everybody. We are about to start the live webinar, so I just wanted to give everyone a heads up. Um, so look forward to seeing y'all tonight. We're doing the how to make a thousand dollars in a day webinar. Hey, good stuff. Watching from South Africa. Oh, it's, is it, it's either early in the morning there or super late at night. Probably early in the morning. Like when I teach something, I want to be a master at it. Um, my friends tease me that I, I go for mastery in everything that I do. Right, Chris? Chris says, these charts are talking IWT language. They are. Like literally this year has been our year. The, the double digits, mine is 11 years. I've been trading now 11 years. When you're thinking about trading, it's about the amount of returns. That's awesome. Tawana says, my husband is doing your course as I'm watching this. That's so awesome. Now you can talk to him about stop losses. Paula, you can start the class whenever you want. Um, and go ahead and go at your own pace. But every month we restart our um, coaching calls. She prays a lot. I think that, that's what gets her through most of this. Gets us all through it as a team. And I think that allows her to kind of keep a level mind, not just with like trading, but even with running a business and dealing with all of us on the team and all the hurdles and jumps that we go through with that. I think that keeps her balanced. Sorry, Tracy has been guided by her faith in mostly everything she does. I don't think she does anything without actually praying about it first. And um, I think that's the reason that she's so prosperous now is because she's always been humble. My mom said, um, you can quit your job, because my mom is a praying woman. So she said, you can, you can quit your job and go ahead, go ahead and travel. Go ahead and trade and travel around the world. She had asked God, you know, God, should I make this move? Should I, should I quit my job? Then this and that. And so she was really in prayer. And so she tell, told God, she said, well, I can't move because I don't have any money. I, I, I just don't have any money to go out here for three months and travel around the world. I just don't have it. God flooded her house like Noah, 25th floor, downtown Dallas. Her apartment totally floods. All her clothing, her furniture, everything. Apparently somebody's um, apartment caught a fire and the sprinklers went off or whatever. So the, the sprinklers flooded everything. So why, why God? The end result of this is she was given like almost 20,000 some odd dollars, 20,000 plus dollars in insurance money. So all of this, when she told God, I don't have any money. God say, now you do because your purpose is not here. Your purpose is where I send you. And that's where she went. And this is how trade and travel came. But it wouldn't, we wouldn't be here today if God said, if God didn't flood that apartment because he basically just forced her on out because that's where the plan was, it wasn't there. Yeah, that was the flood of 2016. Oh, let me show you something else. I got this today. Um, so I gave money to help rebuild churches that got hurt during the storm. Did my mom tell you? Mm -mm. So um, the, my pastor just sent me a video about the money that I gave. Great things happen through partnerships. And I want to thank Terry Igioma and her family foundation for the great partnership that took place to help 10 churches recover from the recent storm.
Granny's proud and smiling. Oh, <laughs> she <Yeah>. is. <laughs> my big baby, my first baby. Mm -hmm. Before I had my babies, yes. I'm the first. Yeah, you were the first. I practiced on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I messed you up for all the rest of them.